Welcome back, guys. It's Marketing Food Online. Uh, Damian Roberti here. I've got a uh, interesting podcast, as always, trying to give you guys additional resources to help you sell online and create your food product. Um, this one in particular, I'm actually going to talk. I've had a handful of emails um, asking a little bit more about uh, payability, uh, which is the service that pays you daily uh, that allows you to get access to your funds, uh, which in turn, of course, uh, having an increase in cash flow, you can grow your business much faster. Of course, if you're familiar with uh, Amazon Marketplace, you're aware that they do have a two-week window that you have to kind of wait to get your funds uh, released to you every two weeks. And when we first started to sell on Amazon, um, this was in late 2014 when we initiated our account. Um, that that two week window really kind of slowed our our growth up, especially as a small business. Um, having funds and having access to funds um, daily is, is is key to any operation, but especially if you're a small business, and um, and even more so to be honest with you, if if you're a private labeled food company like we are, we we produce our own products. We have to order those ingredients and uh, put together a product and then then take it from there and ship it to FBA or ship it to our customers. So we actually have a little bit more of a, of a larger gap, a larger window um, to produce our products only because – we don't contract it out as a whole uh, when it comes to all of our items. So we end up having to bring together these ingredients. So the turnaround time for us has been shortened con considerably. Um, of course, when you have access to your sales every day via payability, um, they allow you to, to bring those ingredients in faster. And the turnaround time is much, much smaller, um, which is really key important for us. And, and to be honest with you, I mean, any, any business, whether you're a large corporation, uh, whether you're a small business, um, it, cash flow is really just like they always say, the lifeblood of a business, and that's very true. Um, so anyway, so back to the, the questions I was getting was, how exactly does the, the process work uh, with, with payability specifically um, as far as the funds? Uh, you hear a lot of mixed uh, reviews online. Um, a, a lot of the people I've spoke with, and I, and I have businesses that I know on Amazon who utilize payability, uh, via their uh, feedback, they've had really good experiences. Um, and, and I personally, I could tell you firsthand, um, since I've signed up, um, I've, I've, I've had nothing but really good, good experience with them. Um, and what it comes down to is just, I'm going to give you a really brief example of really how the, the process works. Because if you're kind of on the fence about whether you want to even start selling on Amazon, uh, because maybe you've heard, you know, uh, if you start, start a store on Amazon, you have to wait such a long period of time. You know, unlike other marketplaces, where you may have a uh, payment processor that is outside of uh, Amazon, like eBay. A lot of people utilize PayPal, for instance, as an example. So you have access to those funds like instantaneously, okay? Um, with, with Amazon, of course, you've got that two-week window. So um, here's the thing. If you're on the fence and you're not sure about starting an Amazon store because you know or you've heard about that two-week window – uh, so payability works like like this, pretty much. Um, what you do is, as an example, let's say every day you had a thousand dollars in sales of transactions. Okay, um, so on a on a Monday you sell a thousand dollars worth of products, you ship out a thousand dollars worth of products. So Tuesday morning comes around, the next day you you fulfilled those orders. Okay. So that thousand dollars in transactions gets put into your account and is now accessible. If if you were utilizing payability, you'd have access to those funds. Okay, this is not about pending orders. Okay, there's a little little uh, under, misunderstanding about this. If you have a transaction that you got on Monday and you did not fulfill it, and let's say you fulfilled it on Tuesday, you have to fulfill those orders on Amazon for those funds to go into your Amazon account. And then what happens is payability sees that as uh, receivables, as 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 orders that you fulfilled. So you have $1,000 on Monday. So you wake up Tuesday morning, you check your payability account, and they're going to um, advance you 80%. Why are they advancing you only 80%, which would be $800 of your 1000 Well, Amazon likes to keep uh, kind of a guideline from Amazon. It's not necessarily payability, but Amazon likes to keep uh, 20% um, at least to cover any additional refunds or adjustments that may occur um, between Monday and Tuesday. And again, this is a real basic example of how it works. So 20% of that thousand, which would be $200, would be kept in your account just to make sure, you know, to kind of be a buffer 
um, if you've got returns, you know, refunds or damaged products or any additional fees actually that Amazon may have, um, additional shipping fees or if you've got FBA fees, basically that's what that's there for, okay? So on Tuesday, you get another $1,000 in orders. And you're, you're working all day Tuesday. You fulfill those orders. And now Tuesday, at the close of business on Tuesday, you now have another $1,000 available because of the sales that you've completed and you've shipped, okay? So then come Wednesday morning, you wake up again. You check your payability balance, and, and you'll have that 80% again, and so on and so on. So, so basically every day, you'll get access to 80% of the funds from the orders you actually fulfill, okay? Um, again, some of the, I'm answering questions that I get from my uh, subscribers and some of my uh, podcast uh, listeners that have asked me about that and to kind of clarify that. So basically every day, the following day, you'll have access to 80%. Now, Damien, what happens to that 20%? Okay, good question. So at the end of the two-week period, as, as uh, Amazon would pay you out traditionally, they pay you in a two-week window. The 20% of those accumulated sales for two weeks, you would get once, um, as a, again, as an example, once on a Friday evening, the two weeks after that two-week window, on Friday, they would dispense those funds into the account, and it's actually into uh, Payability's account, okay? And then what happens is, is that Payability system will retrieve those 20% of funds that have been accumulated from sales for the two weeks, Okay. So those 20% would show up anywhere from it's, – it's traditionally you know three to five business days following that disbursement, okay? So if you had it sent on a Friday, so the following Monday, you'd have like a Monday, Tuesday, maybe even like a Wednesday window. You'd have a couple of days, business days, and then that remaining 20% will show up in your account, and then that closes out that two-week period, and then it starts all over, Okay. So the reason why I'm telling you this is is to kind of just inform you a little bit more uh, of how it works, and I just kind of give a basic scenario. Of course, everyone's business will do you know maybe more, maybe less money, but using a thousand dollars as an example, I'm trying to sim simplify how it works. Um, and to be honest with you, I've have never had any issues. Uh, whenever I've tried to reach customer service, um, I usually get someone on the first couple rings. Um, if not, I simply just email them and go about my business, and they they get back me back with me uh, very very quick. So. Um, just to explain that to you, and again, um, not necessarily trying to um, to show you uh, that you definitely have to have payability, but if you're on the fence about selling on Amazon, and the decision make make or break decision for you is, I know, getting the funds in the two week window. Um, I want to just show you that payability has that feature available, and again, their fee is a two percent two percent fee. And to be honest with you, for my business. Uh, Having cash flow is of the utmost important, and if it costs me two percent, that's really next to nothing. To be honest with you, um, of course, that's just my opinion, and uh, it's worked out great for for our small business. And again, not to reiterate what I said before, but it, it allows us to really produce our products faster and then get them out. Before I had to, you know, with with having to wait for two weeks, um, it really kind of I don't even say slowed. Slow would be an understatement. But having the ability to fulfill, fulfill up FBA for us is very crucial because we're trying to build up our inventory and our product selection. Um, and I would probably say 80% of what we sell is actually products we make. And we have about a 20% uh, of product line, products that we you know we just buy or, or we sell in bulk and that type of thing that we don't make. So uh, that 80% of products that we do, it's ultra important to have of cash flow and it has to be on a consistent basis. Um, waiting for two weeks is just would, was not going to work for us. So, um, just give you a heads up, and, and I'll put some information in in the description, the podcast description. Um, if you want to check out Payability, um, give them a try and 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 check it out. They do have a trial period, so you know you can sign up. And if it hey, if it just doesn't seem something that you can benefit from, or it's not not your thing, you can you can definitely um, cancel that trial period. Um, but again. Uh, getting access to those funds every day, man, that's just, it's, it's a huge, huge part of our business. And we're, we're really grateful for the service. Um, and we're glad that we signed up. Um, so make your decision, definitely dive into it and, and, and sign up on Amazon. It is a great way to grow a business. Uh, as you, as we mentioned before, uh, we're on six or seven platforms. We just added, I think jet, we're getting on jet.com. Um, it, it's a, it's great to be on Amazon. It is huge. Um, I was kind of completely blown away. 2015 
was a really good year, but 2016 and 2017 uh, last year was unbelievable for us. And this year we're projected to do, um, we keep on the track that we're at, about two and a half times what we did last year. And 2017 was actually um, uh, two, a little bit over two times what we did the previous year in 2016. So Amazon is a great platform. And don't, don't, don't be scared away from the idea that um, you, know, you don't want to sell in there because it takes so long to get your funds. Sign up for payability. Check them out. Go to their website. Even You can even call them and ask, you know, hey, could you explain this scenario to me? Uh, it, uh, this is how much I'm looking to sell. And they'll be glad to, uh, to help you guys out. So I hope that helps you guys, specifically the ones that contacted me about payability, and uh, kind of break it down and make it a real simplistic understanding for how it works and operates. So I hope you guys have a great day. And, uh, and again, check out, and you're listening to my podcast. If you haven't seen my YouTube channel, uh, check me out on YouTube. Um, it's actually Marketing Food Online, and I have a whole bunch of other resource links to our website, the Marketing Food Online website, where you can um, download. Uh, I've got ebooks, I've got um, tutorials, I've got how to videos, um, and my, of course, YouTube. I've got a lot of free products on my, on my website, uh, very reasonably priced uh, additional resources to help you guys out. And that just pretty much covers my, my time for bringing together these resources and such. And I, I have a new ebook. Uh, if you are in the state of Florida and you want to make up to an extra $50,000 a year from your home selling food products, I've got a very informative uh, brand new book that's on Amazon. And it's actually in paperback. Uh, it's a huge help and time saver if you're looking to start a food business from home. So thank you guys very much. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.